Danny, God forbid if you had to start from scratch and you had 90 days to lay a foundation for a successful business, online business, what would you do during those 90 days? And the reason I'm asking is because we will have some of the people in the audience who are maybe currently working for someone else and they want to start an online business and they will benefit significantly from getting your plan on what you would do now with all the knowledge and experience you accumulated. Uh, 90 days. First thing I would do is, yep. First thing I would do is know exactly what I was selling. Um, I, what screwed me early on in my company is I didn't know what I was selling. I was under the non-compete. So I was all over the place. So I would pick one thing that I was going to sell. The second thing I would do is I would immediately build a community. Because the strongest thing we have with success champions as a whole is we have the champions. And that's what we call everybody in our community. And it's so awesome because even at our summit, we always finish. They sing, we are the champions. So, so I would know the one thing I was selling. I would build a community. And then I would figure out exactly with that community how they want to buy your products and services and make it very easy for them to say yes. So let's say you wanted to start a, a, a health company, right? I would go figure out what's the one health thing I'm gonna do. Is it a diet, is it a strategy, is it a course, is it a program? And then I would build a community right around that exact idea. So, you know, um, how to lose 20 pounds with keto, right? If you're doing a keto diet, if it was, you know, you were selling uh, coaching services, what's the one thing you coach on and then build a community around that. So if it's, you know, um, mindset coaching, cool, create a community all around mindset, give those people a name. So they have something to tag on to. Um, the third thing I would do is in 90 days, 30, 60, 90, I'd have about 200 plus conversations with people who could say yes to my services. And I would try and catch as many no's as possible. And every 200, of the, every one of those conversations, I would ask them specifically to buy my services. And the reason being is most people who start businesses don't know how to sell. They don't like the idea of sales because they think it's clunky. So I would say go out immediately ask 200 people to buy your services so you can figure out what to say, how to say it, how to communicate it, how to screw it up. And then the last thing that you would absolutely have to do is you have to never call yourself an entrepreneur, a business owner, uh, a salesperson. You call yourself a CEO and you freaking act like it, right? A CEO doesn't sit around and wait for business to come for them. A CEO doesn't worry about how things get done. A CEO goes, okay, who can do this for me? Who's my exact client? Let's go get it done. They're not waiting for the world to come to them. There's no BS excuses. They're getting after it and making it happen. But most people, when they go into business, they've been an employee for a number of years. So they think that somebody's going to tell them what to do. They think that there's going to be some sort of easy way to do this. Building a business is the toughest thing you'll ever do in your life. And you've got to get ready to go get punched in the face hard every day. But figure out the one thing, build the community, figure out the 200 people to say yes to get the mindset of a CEO. You can find success really quick in 90 days.